Welcome. I am happy to have you here today. Today we'll be discussing how to format manuscripts for Amazon KDP ebook publishing. Okay, which includes choosing font size, font type, table of contents, others including sizing. Okay. So follow me as I walk you through on how you can do that. All right, this is my manuscript already typed. So in your own case, I believe you have already typed your manuscript. All right, type it in Word document like this. So this is made up of 72 pages of documents, Word document file. So the first step we have to take is to choose a font. I like working with Science New Roman. Okay, so press Ctrl A to select all the text in this document in your own document. Then click on this part, select Times New Roman. Okay, then we have to change the font size. By default, I think a Word document have a text sized in font size eleven. So we have to change it. So click on this part and then select twelve. Let's now change the spacing. So be on the home tab as usual and then click on this part and select 1.5. That's better so that people, your readers can easily read through the text you have. Okay. Then what we are going to do next here is to change the alignment, text alignment or the content of the document. Okay. The alignment both the images and the text all together so press ctrl a to select all the text then we are going to justify so click on the justify button and select justify okay it to make the text to be organized okay now we are going to create headings let's make headings in this our manuscript these are the, these headings are going to appear in our table of contents. Okay, remember we are working on ebook. Okay, and not the paper. So we are going to format it in a way that is suitable in the ebook format. All right. So the first is the copyright page. I'll highlight the words copyright, then give it heading one, and then make it bold. Okay. I can change the font to Time New Roman as well. So you can do that on your own end. But if you have another font type you want to use, it's okay. You can use that font size, that font type. But I think Times New Roman is okay for me. All right. Table of contents, highlights, heading one, make it bold. Then I'll select Times New Roman. That's cool. Then I'll get to the chapter one. Chapter one and table of content shouldn't be on the same page. Okay. So I'll move that down. Dur if they are on the same page, it's not bad because this is ebook. So, but I want to separate them in my own case. Okay. Then I'll highlight this, give it a one, make it broad, choose Times New Roman. Because this is a chapter heading and chapter title, I have to change the case to all capital, that's uppercase. Then I'll place it on center. The alignment will now be center because it's a chapter and chapter title. The next is the subheadings, brief history. I'll give this heading two. Okay. Let it be aligned towards the left. All right. So it's cool. So just make as many headings as you can. Because if the if you have up to five chapters. All the subheadings should be made marked as headings, just as I'm doing, so that all of them will reflect in the table of context section. 
very important don't leave anyone behind so all of them all the subheadings and the headings should be marked as headings in your document okay i am done marking some important sections of the document as my headings so now it's time for us to insert those sections that are made headings as in the table of context section and to create table of contents click on the references tab select table of contents then select the option custom table of contents okay you know in ebook formatting or when you want to publish ebook on amazon kdp the table of contents section don't need to have page numbers so uncheck this bros show page numbers all right so once you do that click on ok button and you can see the table of context is now placed without the page numbers all right so these are just the few steps you need to take to format your ebook for amazon publishing all right amazon kdp publishing then let me highlight some points i taught in this tutorial number one choose a front type so Press Ctrl A to highlight to all the text in your document and then select a font of your choice. In this tutorial, I used Times New Roman. The next is to choose a font size. After the selection, I choose a font size of 12. But this can change depending on how you want to format your own document. But that is the best practice for me. Okay? Then justify the text by choosing justify alignment that's the next uh, thing i did in this tutorial then the next thing i did is choosing line spacing of 1.5 that will enhance readability readability of your content all right so it's very important the next action i took was marking text as headings so i marked the important parts of the text that i want to appear as in my table of contents i mark them as headings how do you do that you do that by highlighting the text and then click the home tab and then select between heading one heading two heading three and the rest and lastly i assigned the table of contents to the manuscript okay those areas that we are marked as heading i assign them in the table of contents if this video helps you please like subscribe and leave a comment thank you